Hello, and welcome to a new episode of Pork Openings. Uh, I've not done one in a couple months, actually, I think February was the last time I did one, but I am bringing you today something a little more recent than tins that were literally two years old, and that is the mythical collection, Dark Ray. As you can see, I'm using a different camera angle, um, just because I realised that my camera stand can actually go a lot higher than what I was previously using it for, and this actually looks a little nicer, I think. But yeah, anyway, uh, so as I said, this is the Mythical Collection. They've been releasing one a month since February um, for the different legendary Pokemons that they're releasing for download, uh, either through Wi-Fi or a local game or GameStop if you're in the US or other countries, I think. And this month is uh, Darkrai, as you can tell, because there's a Darkrai pin and a card and it says Darkrai. Um, and also he's there on the side, which is a big hint, and on the back. But yeah, anyway, to celebrate the 20th anniversary of Pokemon, um, as you can see by the symbol there, you know, they've been doing a pretty cool thing, which is since February, uh, you know, as I said, releasing one Legendary a month. Uh, I can't remember what next month's is. But I've not bought any of the previous ones. I don't have Mew or Celebi, um, mainly because I just forgot. Also, Jirachi, I forgot about him as well. Um, yeah, I just didn't get around to buying them, and then they went up ridiculously in price. I think the Moo box at the moment is like £25, which is not great for a promo pin and then two packs. But, I hear you say, two packs, that's not very much in a box, but these are kind of special packs. They're Pokemon Generations packs, which we'll look at in the moment. Anyway, I'll go ahead and open this, because there's no point in me talking about things that are inside the package if we're going to open it anyway. Okay, ooh. Oh! Oh! Oh man! Oh, that's awesome! That is a poster, and also on the back... Hey, it's got all the legendaries! So, those are the ones that are, like, going to be released uh, throughout the many months, um, till the end of 2016. Oh, that was really cool. That's, I was not expecting that. Um, I mean, maybe... <laughs> Posters aren't the most exciting things for some of you guys, but, I don't know, for me, I was pleasantly surprised. Anyway, first off, let's take a look at this Dark Rye pin. It is really nice. I'm not a big fan of pins, I'll admit. They're not something I particularly enjoy collecting. Um, but, you know, as, as it is, I have quite a few pins because they came with different boxes, so... It's nice to add a nice Dark Rye pin to it, and also... There is... Ooh, hang on. Hey, there we are. There's this really, really nice card of a Dark Ray. This is the reason I bought the box. Actually, I was holding off because they were a lot of money. They retail for... I think it's between £12 and £13 per box, which is not something I really wanted to pay. But after seeing the art on this card, it was just too good to pass up. It is incredible. I'm really digging this art, and I'm not usually a big fan of Dark Rite, and they're a dislike him, just he's kind of always been the dark, edgy kind of Pokemon. Uh, not, not that he's particularly edgy, but well, I mean, I guess he is by definition pretty edgy. And also, in the pack, the main reason you're watching this, and the main reason I bought this, was Pokemon Generations. Now, in the shop, there were like four or five boxes, but... I made sure to get the one with the two-pack designs I wanted, because I'm not sure how many of these I'm going to get. Got Blastoise, because that was the very first pack of cards I ever bought, the base set one with Blastoise um, when they first launched. And Charizard, because I really like Charizard, not a massive fan of Pikachu, and Venusaur's cool, but I do prefer Charizard over P uh, Pikachu and Venusaur. Right. So, I'm just going to go ahead and open these. I'm not sure how easy it'll be for everyone to see. Also, that's just the back of the pack, in case you at home have not seen them. Although, if you've not seen them by now, I imagine there's probably 80,000 other, you know, YouTubers who have done this a lot better than I have. And already we're off to a bad start, because this is not opening very well. Ah, yes, just decimate the pack. That's fine. Also, the box comes with a code card for the, I assume, for the Dark Ray EX card that came with this, but I'm not too sure. I don't really use the code cards much, but I may use this one. Because why not? Why not be, you know, adventurous? Oh, this does not come with a code card. 
Is this a 3-2 thing? Maybe it is. Um, we'll go with that anyway, I think, and then we'll see. Uh, I'm just going to put them straight to the front. So, we ha we begin. I'm going to try and get the art nice and... Uh, uh, maybe that kind of works. But yeah, um, we have Fla Baby. As you know, I'll just... We have a Persian. Actually, I swear I've seen that art before. Okay, I swear that was from a previous set. But maybe it's not. We have a Golbat. Again, this artwork is looking kind of similar to art I've already seen. Maybe I've just seen scans online? I'm not sure. We have a Zubat. We ha is that a Magby? That is a Magma. I'm sorry, there is a Mag uh, Magma, not a Magby. We have a Diglett. That's an interesting uh, angle on Diglett then. Is that a shiny Diglett? That is... that's yellow. That Diglett is yellow. Are dig shiny Diglett's yellow? Maybe they are, who knows. We have a fo ooh. Okay, so I don't know. Maybe you guys don't care much about energy cards, but my God, look at the background of that energy card. That's pretty cool. Also, sounds incredibly, uh, incredibly weird to get excited over that. Oh, we have an evil soda reverse hollow. That is a another piece of art that I swear I've seen from other series, but wherever. And the other card is we have a. <gasps> Hello? Okay then. <laughs> right. Wow. Oh. Hello. That is impressive. Okay, so we have a hollow Charizard, but there's also the body is shiny and stuff. Oh my god, that's... Wow. Ah. That's... That is incredible. Oh my god. Also in a Charizard pack, which is really cool. Wow. That's... Okay then. <laughs> wow, wow. That I think that's made the box. That's worth it. That wow. That's a really nice card. Do you have anything else? Oh, let's have a Snorlax. Hang on, wait. We have a Snorlax. So it's four. Then we put four at the front, not three. Okay then. That's fine. Uh, I think I've seen that Snorlax art somewhere as well. But that's fine. That's. Wow, that is, man, that's so cool. Also, that looks like an ice symbol, though. I just realised, which is, oh no, it's not an ice symbol. I'm wrong. Wow, that, that is impressive. Okay, then. I was not expecting a hollow or anything from this, because, well, there's two packs, and usually I tend to find that, even in a tin of four packs, getting a hollow out of the four packs is kind of a good rate. Is lucky, really. Um, wow. Well, I guess let's see what's in pack number two then, in the Blastoise pack. Will we get a hollow Blastoise to go with a hollow Charizard? I very much doubt it. But we'll see, I guess. Also, yeah, the pack designs, they're pretty cool. They're quite basic. They're semi 3D kind of art, which I'm not wild about, but whatever. So. It's four in the front, not three. See, I'm kind of hesitant to do that, just in case that pack messed up. If I do put four in the front, then that would include... Oh, I dropped the pack. That would include putting the possible hollow wherever at the front. But I'm going to risk it. Did I put a hollow? Oh, no, I did not. Hey, that is good. That is very good. Anyway, we have a Parasect. I have not seen a Parasect card in literally years. That's really cool. I like Parasect. I use them a lot in blue, I think. Uh, oh! Oh, that's really cool. Oh, we got Charmeleon. So, we got that dude who was with his Charizard. But we've got... Uh, we've got the Charmeleon. So he's a little younger there. Ah, oh, I really dig cards that do this. That go through the evolution of, um, you know, like a person or a family. Like the... Tepig line, I can't remember which set it was. Was it Legendary Treasures? Maybe it was, but it evolved with the family and like by the third card 
the kids who were in the first cart had grown up and they'd had wives and stuff and they'd had kids and it was really cute. Ooh, we've got a really good looking haunter there. I'm digging the art of the cards that have not been in other sets or do not look very similar to other sets. Wow, that's really cool. Also, I realise I'm not really showing the attacks and stuff, but I'm sure you can look them up online if you're really that interested. Uh, we have a Mac Revive. That's cool. They're, they're handy. They're pretty basic. Okay, so it seems like we get an energy in each pack. That's cool. We have a dark energy. Well, the background makes it look a little green, which is interesting. Well, on this camera, in real life, it's less so. It's just kind of black and grey-ish. But wherever. We have a Krabby. That's really cool. I like Krabby. Krabby is another card and Kingler that I've not seen in a few sets. Maybe I've just not pulled them. Maybe they've been in sets for years. We have... Oh, okay, it's not a reverse. I thought this was a reverse. I, yeah, okay, I've seen that art before. That was in a set before. That was in a few sets ago, but I've definitely pulled a few of those Caterpies. Whatever, I'll look this up afterwards. I'll probably put an annotation uh, by here. If I do find anything, maybe I'm just being overly picky. And our reverse is not this either. Okay. We have a Meowth. Meowth, are you alright? You... Has he just been through the desert? On a horse with no name. Exhausted Tackle. Oh, okay. Are you... Meowth, are you okay? Is he just... That's interesting art. Uh, right. Our reverse... Ooh, wow, Cloyster! Hell yeah! Another card I don't think I've pulled in quite a few sets. Um, yeah, that's really cool. I do I do dig the water reverse hollows because they look kind of icy. And Cloyster is part ice, so that is appropriate. What will our next card be? Will it be a hollow? No. Oh, it is. What? Okay. That. It's a hollow trainer. That's... Wall oh, it's Wally! Oh, that's really cool. For a second I thought it was two routes, and I was wondering how routes could be a train. Wow! Okay, so I'm not sure exactly uh, what's going on with this set. I assume maybe every card that you pull is a shiny kind of hollow thing like this with a body and stuff. I'm not sure, but holy shit, that's really cool. That's... I really like Hollow Trainers. I've, I swear they haven't been a thing since the Team Rocket set. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, well, apart from I guess if you count Super Rares and Secret Rares, which are the full art versions of Trainers, which are Hollow by design, but not like this. Unless, obviously, I just haven't seen them. That's really cool. So they've got little Pokeball. No, they're like symbols. They're probably a symbol of something that I'm just not getting. What is that a symbol of? Is that like his insignia? Is that Wally's insignia or something? Well, anyway, he's happy with his routes and that is cool. That's a really good pull as well. I'm happy that I bought these now, actually. And obviously back to Parasect. So, this has been a pretty darn successful uh, card thing. Card box. We have this, which doesn't really count. It's not like I pulled it, I just got it with the box. We have Wally happily with his routes. And, oh my god, we have Charizard. A hollow Charizard is something I never got in base set. In fact, I don't think I own a hollow Charizard. I own a Charizard EX. Uh, well, I, I actually own two Charizard EX. I own the Secret Rare and the regular Charizard EX that look identical to each other from Flashfire, but I do not own a Hollow Charizard, so this, to me, is kind of really exciting. Maybe this will become a slightly rare card in the set, because, you know, everyone likes Charizard. But, wow, that's a, that was a really good box. Well, thank you for sticking with me and putting up with my confusion for the entirety of this box and I will hopefully make another video soon but until next time goodbye